Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2020. Now your first card here is the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands with the Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus. There's a love offering that's coming to you. For some of you guys, it could be that you meet a new person while you're working. For others of you, especially those of you guys that recently started a job uh, or recently started, um, it could be working for the same company, but if you were transferred to a different department, as an example, uh, this is definitely the energy that's coming through. And I do see that uh, there is definitely a person around you that is going to be very drawn to you that is going to be they're definitely going to make it known that they're interested in you. I do see the two of swords here with the five of pentacles. So I feel that you may not embrace this new beginning for some of you guys. It could be because you're in a relationship for others of you. It could be because you're currently still dealing with the next or a partner from the past. You have the knight of swords here next to the five of wands and the page of cups so yeah i definitely see you guys going into this cycle uh, for the month of november where you're going to be finding a lot of people like really trying to get your attention taurus and i feel that um you know we do recently i want to say since the beginning of the middle of october we have um who oh, oh what was i gonna say my mine just went blank right now you guys oh yeah uh so we recently went into uh rahu went into taurus no ketu went into taurus um so again this could represent that energy of um people really vibrating to you taurus like you're really coming on strong and you may not even be aware of it because i do see people really trying to fight to get your attention with this five of wands um so again very positive type of energy um sorry taurus is in rahu so what this does it brings to you a lot of blessings so you're being very highlighted here taurus and like i said this could come out of nowhere especially for those of you guys that perhaps are in a serious relationship already it may throw you off uh you may actually become very like self-aware and it's almost like I'm feeling this uncomfortable sensation, kind of like when people continuously are staring at you and you feel like you have basically eyes on your back, that type of energy. But the reason for this is because, again, your energy is very receptive and in, in a very positive way. So I do see a lot of opportunities for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I will not be uh, surprised <laughs> if you guys find yourself in a situation in this month of november where you may be dealing with two people and those two people are really trying to fight to get your attention it almost i almost see you guys as um getting to know these two people and feeling like almost like okay this is so tiring like it's so exhausting i'm not trying to deal with multiple people because it's just a headache um but i think this is an energy that you should embrace taurus because it's going to bring to you not only opportunities and not only get you out of your comfort zone but it's also going to expose you to people uh that could be from very different backgrounds different cultures uh and i think that this you can really benefit from this you may not be interested uh specifically on certain people but it doesn't mean that you cannot embrace this friendship uh, because I do feel that it's necessary to shake up your energy. I think that it is important for you to get out of your comfort zone. So again, I would definitely embrace these energies, of course, if you're single. Now, for those of you guys that are in a serious relationship, your partner may start to notice that people are like giving you the eye or they're winking at you or they're trying to get your attention and they may become a bit jealous. They may become a bit like, you know, feeling a little bit uncomfortable or feeling like they're scared that they may lose you type of energy uh either way i think this is amazing energy now your next card here is the nine of swords with the knight of wands and the nine 
sorry, the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Wands. So yeah, you guys are going through a transition. For some of you guys, this could be a spiritual transition. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you've been going through a lot of hardships, a lot of difficulties, and I feel that at some point you didn't have the confidence in yourself to put your foot down and to not allow people to walk all over you. But I see you guys being very focused on what you're wanting to do, what you're wanting to achieve. And you're getting to the point of, yes, it's bringing me stress that my friend may not agree with the way I see or the way I view things, or my partner may not be on board uh, me starting this new job or this new internship because, you know, I'm going to be surrounded by, uh, you know, strong individuals or, you know, as an example for you females, it could be that you start working in a place where there's a lot of male energy and your partner may feel some type of way. Uh, but I see you guys again, very empowered. I feel like you guys are like, you know, this is what I want and I'm going for it. I'm not going to sit there. I'm not going to sit back and weather away because you feel that that's a comfortable place for me. I see you guys really embracing this energy. So if anything I can say in this reading, Taurus, is that I see you guys very empowered. I see you guys getting a lot of opportunities, being at the right time, at the right place, around the right people that are really going to help you, especially career-wise. Um, so definitely, you know, take and seize the moment. Take those opportunities. Don't hesitate. If it's bringing tension into your relationship, here's the thing. When it comes to partnerships, your partner should want nothing but the best for you. And if you succeed at what you're doing, then ultimately, if you guys are looking towards the future, making plans together, then they should want your success. And if you feel that at some point they are being petty or they're feeling very disconnected from you or even challenged by other people and the you know jealousy starts to come up i mean to a certain degree that's fine but if you feel like they give you ultimatums or they're really you know going out of their your way out of their way to make it seem like you're selfish for putting yourself first do not fall for that shit taurus really seize the moment take these opportunities um and do what you want you know sometimes it's necessary for us to be selfish why because oftentimes when we self-sacrifice, we're trying to make other people happy. When it comes to you, other people shouldn't come and make you feel like you're selfish or like you are you should feel less because you're just thinking of yourself. Sometimes that's necessary. And if they make you feel that way, perhaps you should think about, are they even worth it? I hope that this gives you some type of insight. I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.